Hello and welcome to another chair yoga video. So today we're going to add uh, another prop and what I'd like you to have is like a hand towel, a dish towel, um, anything that's a prox this size. We're going to use it as a strap and we don't need to take it behind our head. So really it needs to be about as wide as your shoulder, but maybe an inch wider. So what else could work if you don't have a towel would be a t-shirt, a knee sock, any of those things could work. So no excuse for not having the right prop. We all have shirts. I know that. So let's put that off to the side and know that we're going to use it. We need the chair. We always need the chair, chair yoga, and a block or a cushion or maybe a book to put your feet on if, you're, if your legs are short. Um, so if you're taller and you can sit back in your chair and your feet touch the ground, there's no need for the block. This is just to help us feel anchored and grounded. So let's get started. I'll put this down. We'll come back to it. Don't worry. And let's come into our chair. So sit back into your chair, put your feet on the block, on the book, the cushion, whatever it is on the floor. Let's bring our palms down into our laps. Close your eyes and just arrive. And take a moment right now to notice what the breath is like. Notice it coming into and going out of the nostrils. And then notice it passing through the throat down into the lungs. Notice it expanding and contracting into the lungs, into the rib cage. And perhaps even notice that breath pushing against the back of the chair there. So that big, slow, deep inhale is filling you up literally in three directions. It's, it's a very three dimensional breath. You inhale, you fill up front body, side body, back body. And as you exhale, all of that contracts. And try and even out that breath, letting the inhales and the exhales be the same length. And after two or three nice, even deep breaths, pause and notice how the body feels. And we'll bring that right palm to heart center. We'll put the left palm on top of that and we'll just take a moment right now. Let's do a gratitude picture today. Let's bring, bring a picture to the front of our mind, to the front of our hearts, something for which we are grateful. And whenever we think of that, whatever it is, perhaps it puts a smile on our face. And then gently blink open your eyes, put those hands back into your lap. And we're going to scooch forward a little bit. So coming forward to the edge of the chair, moving that block out of the way, bringing feet to the floor. So I'm way far away from the back of my chair now, but my sitting bones are very firm on this uh, chair seat. With our hands in our lap, let's just do a few rounds of cat and cow, inhaling, filling up the belly. Exhale, tuck the tail, round the spine, oh, drop the chin. And notice as we come here how those shoulder blades separate on the back. You can let the chin rest on your chest. Stay here for a breath or two. Feel the feet connected to the earth. And then push into the feet. Feel those sit bones against the chair. And then open up, bringing those shoulder blades together now and down the back, like dropping them into your back pockets. And then tuck the tail, bring the belly button back to the spine, drop the chin round. And come on back up on the inhale. One more in each direction. And then just come back to that nice neutral spine, sitting up tall. Yeah, so noticing how the spine feels. So we did that front to back motion. Now let's do a little side to side. So let's just drop the hands down by the side. And if, we, if our chair has arms, we can work with that. We can either bring them in front or to the outside of the arms, but sit up tall. And as we exhale, let's just lean over to your right. So this is just a side body stretch. 
feel that stretch into your left side of the lung, of the ribs. Let the shoulders come down from the ears and then come on back up and we'll just take it in the other direction. So just sliding down. You may even feel a nice stretch in the side of your neck as well. Both sitting bones firmly on the chair, both feet firmly on the earth and come on back up. Let's do it again. So this time, let's take our arms up, just seeing what up is for us today. If we can get here, let's go here. If we are unable, let's take it to a cactus arm. We'll inhale here and as we exhale, let's take it over to your right. And then come back through center and go in the other direction. Come back to center, leaning right. And return to center and lean left. And then return and we'll float those arms down. Roll the shoulders up and back and down. Now let's take our left hand and bring it to the outside of the right thigh, taking a very gentle twist here. The shoulders are turned. We're, we'll keep our head to the middle of the shoulders here to start. Sitting up tall, so that twist is in the mid to upper back. And then let's take the chin and look over the right shoulder. So you're looking behind you now, just turning the head and the neck. Stay in the twist, but untwist your head. Look now over your left shoulder. And then bring your head back to neutral, untwist, come back to center. Pause for a moment, notice how that feels. And then we'll go in the other direction. So taking your right hand to the outside of your left thigh. This other hand can rest wherever feels comfortable. We're gonna keep our head neutral here. We're gonna sit up tall and breathe. And then if, if uh, the neck allows, I invite you to look over that left shoulder. So looking behind you now, just as far as the neck allows, not forcing it. And then return the head to neutral and then look to the over the right shoulder. And return your head to neutral, untwist, come back to center, roll those shoulders, make any movements you need to just reset the body. And now let's reach those palms forward. Palms are forward, our fingers are active. All five fingers are spread apart. Thumbs are reaching up. Let's take those shoulders up to the ears and then back and down. So now we've got a lot of space between our ears and our shoulders. Sit up taller. So push into your feet, push into your sitting bones and see if you can reach the crown of the head any higher to the ceiling. Yes, get taller. And now we're gonna take that left hand out to the side, just out, uh, I believe that's 90 degrees, right? So we're taking it out to the side, we're sitting up tall. That arm is out to the side. My other arm is still coming to the front. Sit up tall, inhale. Exhale, sit taller. If we are able, now we're gonna turn and look at that left thumb. Notice how the core is engaged to keep us all upright here. Bring your head back to center. Bring the arm back to center. Stay tall, keep the shoulders down. Push into the feet, push into your sitting bones. Open the right arm out to the side. Yes. So every inhale is getting us taller and with every exhale, we wanna stay that tall. So don't get real tall and then kind of back off. Stay there. Now we're gonna turn our nose and look at right thumb and then come back. And notice how this is not like an arm exercise. This is not a neck exercise. This is a whole body exercise. Return that arm to center. Let's float the hands down to the lap. Pause and let the shoulders rest. So that whole core is engaged, the spine is tall, and we're continually reaching and trying to expand, get taller. So let's try that again. Let's reach our arms up, let those shoulders come down and away from the ears. Push into the feet, push into the sitting bones, sit up taller. Now open that arm out to the side, get taller, turn and look at that left thumb. Come back to center with the head, come back to center with the arm, other side. Take it out to the side. We're still sitting up taller. We haven't lost that length in the spine, those space, spaces between the cervical vertebrae, between the, the vertebrae and the spine. 
Now turn and then return the head. Come back to center. Float those hands down to your lap. Roll the shoulders up and back and down. And pause and notice. Notice how the shoulders feel. Notice how the body feels. Come back to that even breath. And now we're going to grab whatever tool we decided we're going to use. Hey, if you have a yoga strap, that works just as well as two. So I've got my, this is a hand towel from the bathroom. Could do a kitchen towel just as easily. Let's put our feet on the floor about hip distance apart. So it's a stable foundation. And we're just going to take that towel, strap, whatever it is between our hands, and we're just going to pull it to the side. So we've got this side to side tension. The shoulders are down just as we did previously. Shoulders are down from the ears. We're sitting up tall. Push into your feet, get taller. Okay, now moving with our breath, slow motion. As we inhale, we're gonna take this up to whatever up is. It's not going farther than biceps by the ears. As we exhale, we're gonna take it down to shoulder height again. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhale, lowering. Slow movements with the breath. We're going to do it two more times. Your breath, your speed. If you are able, close your eyes and just experience what you're feeling right now. And after that fifth exhale, just come to shoulder height. Pause here. Drop those shoulders from the ears again if they've hiked up. Sometimes that happens. Now we're going to go up again. This time, lift it up, keep it up. From here, let's all lean to the right. So side body stretch. We've done this already, but now we've got those arms overhead. We're holding that uh, strap or towel between our hands. And we're just going as far over to the side as we can with control. My sitting bones are still on the chair. Do I want to go here? Uh-uh, because I might fall. So just take it as far as you can with control. It might be a fraction of an inch. Side body stretch is what we're working for here. Come back to center. Take it in the other direction. Breathe and notice the expansion in the ribs. Each inhale. Let's those ribs separate. And as we exhale, perhaps they come back together. Come back to center. And let's soften. Coming back down to shoulder height. Let's bend the elbows. Bring those knuckles together. Rest the hands in your lap. Pause and notice how that makes you feel. Okay, so let's try it again. Let's take those arms out to shoulder height, side to side tension here. And we will release those fingers at the end of our class, don't worry. So we've got the side to side tension, let's take it up. Now this time, let's just take a gentle twist. Let's go to the left first. Come back to center, and we'll twist right. So same kind of motions we did at the beginning without the strap, but now we're adding this in. Brings a little bit more awareness to what we're doing, perhaps allowing us to find a little different experience in the pose. One more in each direction. Let's twist to the left and to the right. Now let's take those arms down to shoulder height, soften the elbows, let's let the knuckles touch and rest in your lap. Let the shoulders come down from the ears, pause and take a breath. Okay, let's come back up shoulder height. This time let's keep the arms just at shoulder height and let's twist over to our right. So you may experience the stretch now on the outside of that left shoulder. Keep the shoulders down from the ears. Keep trying to reach the crown of the head to the ceiling. So this is a little different twist than the previous one. Next inhale, let's take it back through center and then pull it the other way. So imagine that your left hand is just pulling that right hand across. Right hand lost the tug of war here, but it's still holding on to the towel or the strap. 
return to center. Let's do it again. Pulling over with the right hand, keeping the arm, you know, straight for you. My elbow is bent, but it's not here. It's still away from my body. Shoulders down from the ears. Come on back to center. One more in the other direction. And then return to center. And let's soften those elbows again. Bring the knuckles together. Rest the backs of the hands in your lap. Pause and breathe. Okay. Now, this next sequence can be done seated or standing. I'm going to show you standing, but you can stay in the chair. You will still need your strap. Keep it close by. We're not going to use it right now, but keep it close by. I'll put mine here. Okay. So those of us that are standing, we're going to take a stance a little wider than our hips, and I want you to feel stable. Okay. So, you know, maybe a couple bounces just to feel like, oh yeah, I'm here. It's all good. And then I want you to engage your arms out to your fingertips. So the hands are active. Imagine monster claws. Okay. And with those monster claws at the end and every fingertip is working here, I'm just going to start making some forward circles with my shoulders. But you see, because my arms are so active all the way to the fingertips, everything's moving here. And maybe we start to lift up those elbows and maybe even lift up those monster claws and make some big circles here. So really working with that upper back here where we tend to hold a lot of tension and stress. So just a few more of these. Yeah. And then pause and take a few backwards. So we're stable. We feel stable, whether we're seated or standing. This is a very stable foundation. And we're just getting into that upper back here. And then pause and you know what? Soften everything. Soften the fingers. Soften the shoulders. Okay, now the next round, imagine that we're standing in water or seated in water. And my friends in chairs, you might want to bring those knees a little wider. So if you're seated, let's bring the knees out, knees and toes out to the side. Okay, so you see that my toes and my knees are pointed in the same direction. This time, whether we're seated or standing, we're going to inhale, scoop up the air. And as we exhale, imagine you are pushing a ball down into water. Like, so you've got a big beach ball and you're pushing it into water. Once again, that whole core engages as you push down. And then release, inhale, circle, sweep it up. Exhale, push that ball down. So a lot of active uh, movements here, right? My core is engaged, my feet are engaged, my arms are engaged. I'm gonna do two more of these. I'm gonna do them standing for my standing pals here. So same thing, right? we circle it up and then we push down and you may notice that your knees are gonna bend a little bit if you're standing and that's okay because we're really pushing hard to get this ball down through the water. Even my feet are like really connected to the floor. Okay, one more just because, yeah. And then pause. Shake it out. Let everything feel good here. Okay, coming back to this, this strap, this uh, towel, blanket, whatever you got, right? Grab that again. And this time, again, a seated or a standing uh, sequence here. If you're, I'm going to show it sitting so that you can see everything. But if you are seated, we're going to keep our knees uh, parallel, you know, hip distance apart. Standing, same thing, just a, a solid, a solid stance. So you might be, want to be a little wider than your hips. And we're going to take that towel strap up and overhead. And now we're going to imagine we're kayaking. So one at a time, we're going to row forward. Now, if you're looking at me right now, you see that this is not just my arms working, not just my shoulders, but this is also getting into my rib cage. So my ribs are shifting front and back. And if I'm standing, and now that you know what my arms are doing, it's okay. Even my hips might get involved. So this is the whole body working here. This isn't just, you know, an arm thing. It's not just a shoulder thing. It's the whole body working. And then pause and wherever you are, start to row backwards. Yeah. And then go forwards again. Just notice how everything's kind of connected. Everything's moving here. And then pause, arms overhead. Take the shoulders up to your ears and then drop them down. And let's do it again. Inhale. Exhale it out through your mouth. Ha. Three more. Inhale. Ha. Two 
two more. <sighs> One more. <sighs> Rest those hands back down in your lap. Pause for a moment. You can let the, the uh, strap or towel go. Let the palms rest up in your lap. Take a breath and notice how you feel. Okay, as promised, let's go to the hands. Because sometimes when we hold onto that strap or towel, the hands get a little tight. So let's take our left hand forward and let's take our right hand pulling those three middle fingers back and separate thumb and pinky as far as you can. Just pushing forward through the palm of the hand. Shoulders are still down from the ears. We haven't lost that. Breathe. And then we're gonna release, but do the same hand. We're just gonna flip the palm so now the fingers are down. Same thing, pulling those three fingers back, separating thumb and pinky as far as you can. And then release and shake that hand out. Do what you need to let that hand and wrist and arm feel good. And, and then just let it rest in your lap. Pause and take a moment to notice how you feel. Notice how the right hand feels compared to the, or I'm sorry, left hand feels compared to the right right now. And then we go to the other side. So coming forward, we, we make that stop in the name of love sign, right? Stop. And then we'll take this left hand and pull back the three middle fingers on the right, separating thumb and pinky as far as possible. That palm, that right palm is pushing forward. Shoulders are down from the ears. And then we'll release those fingers, flip it around. So now my palm is still forward, but my thumb is reaching to the outside of my body. Palm comes forward, I pull the three fingers back, I separate thumb and pinky as far as possible. And I come back to the breath. And then I release that hand, shake out those fingers, turn the wrist, do whatever I need to do, and let that hand rest palm up in my lap. Let both hands rest palm up in your lap. And just notice how that feels. Have we been able to get rid of any tension that we added simply by hanging onto that strap, hanging onto that towel? And then we're gonna scooch back into our chair again. So we might need to find that block again. Oops, there's mine right where I left it. Bring your feet to the chair, sit your body all the way back. This time, let's let our palms rest up in our lap. Let the shoulders come down from the ears. I invite you to close your eyes and take a moment to notice how your body feels now. Now we know that we hold a tremendous amount of tension in our shoulders, in our hips, but we really focused our attention on our shoulders today. So have we been able to get rid of any of that tension? And bring that awareness down, not only in the shoulders, but also down the arms, into the elbows, the forearms and the hands. Noticing how those all feel. And then return your awareness to your breath. Come back to those long, slow, deep inhales and complete exhales. And as we sit here and rest, let's bring that gratitude picture back to the front of our minds. And let's let that put a smile on our faces. And then we're gonna gently blink open our eyes. We'll bring the palms together in front of heart center, uniting left and right halves of the body. Let the thumbs rest on your sternum, but think about your sternum reaching up for your thumbs. Crown of the head is reaching for the ceiling. So we've got that wonderfully long spine again. And then tuck your chin, perhaps close your eyes and thank yourself for taking time to stretch and breathe today and notice 
how that made you feel. Know that you can create this feeling whenever you want to, whenever you need to. Stay well, my friends. I hope to see you soon. Thanks for coming. Thank you for practicing. <laughs>